Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Lawrence Welk Show, celebrating more than 60 years on television. Now sit back and enjoy the show selected especially for public television. Hello, I'm Mary Lou Metzger, and welcome to The Lawrence Welk Show. This is one of those wonderful Welk Christmas shows, this one originating in 1972. Dick Dale will be having a holly jolly Christmas, Arthur Duncan dances to ring those Christmas bells, and Norma Zimmer performs a glorious version of Silent Night. And speaking of Norma, later in this program, I'll visit with our champagne lady, Norma Zimmer, and we'll learn about the many Christmas songs she recorded through the years. But right now, let's enjoy this wonderful holiday program. From Hollywood, the Lawrence Welk Network presents The Lawrence Welk Christmas Show. <laughs> Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. All the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on Bob Tail ring, making spirits bright. Oh, what fun it is to sing a writing song. <laughs> Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Christmas greetings, my friends. Yes, folks, this is the show you and I look forward to each year. It's your chance to see all the little children of our musical family and how they're growing. You will see some of them entertain and meet all of them at the end of the show. First in our family album, we have our wonderful country singer, Clay Hard, and two fine-looking youngsters. Clay, take it away. Thank you, Lawrence. I'd like to introduce my son, Hank, who's 11 now and quite a football player, and my daughter Lizzie, who's nine and our cheerleader. And we'd like to wish you all a very Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And what would Christmas be without toys? So here's a song about a marvelous toy. You ready? Okay. When I was just a wee little lad, full of youth and joy, my father homeward came one night and gave to me a toy. A wonder to behold it was with many colors bright. And the moment I laid eyes on it, it became my heart's delight. It went zip when it moved, pop when it stopped, whirr when it stood still. I never knew just what it was and I guess I never will. First time that I picked it up, I had a big surprise. Cause right on its bottom were two big buttons that looked like big green eyes. I first pushed one, then the other, then I twisted its lid. And when I turned around again, here's what it did. It went zip when it moved, bop when it stopped, whirr when it stood still. I never knew just what it was, and I guess I never will. Well, at first marched left, then marched right, then marched under a chair. And when I looked where it had gone, well, it wasn't even there. 
I started to cry, but my daddy laughed for he knew that I would find When I turned around, my marvelous toy chugging from behind It went zip when it moved, pop when it stopped, whirr when it stood still I never knew just what it was, and I guess I never will Well, the years have gone by too quickly, it seems I have my own girl and boy And yesterday I gave to them my marvelous little toy Their eyes nearly popped right out of their heads They gave a squeal of glee Neither one of them knows just what it is But they love it just like me It still goes zip when it moves Pop when it stops Whirr when it stands still I never knew just what it was And I guess I never will I never knew just what it was And I guess I never will Next, a young lady and a very young gentleman, and I'm rather fond of both of them. My pretty daughter-in-law, Tanya here, and Lawrence Walk III. Will you hold him? Well, I can hold oh, him. Oh, he's heavy. Oh, all right. <laughs> You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Okay, why don't you come over here with me? He's making a list and checking it twice. He's gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. Okay, now we're gonna do we're gonna do this together. He sees you when you're sleeping. What do you do when you sleep? Well, okay, no wait a minute. He sees you when you're sleeping. Come on. There he goes. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sakes. You want to take it now? You want to sing it? Yeah. Okay. You better watch out. Not like his grandpa at all. <laughs> you better not cry. Come here with me, please. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you better not pout. I'm telling you why. Now, why? Can you tell the people why? Well, 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 The next very cute little girl you're going to meet is Jenny Griffiths, just two and one half years old. And with her is her very charming mother, our own Sandy. Jenny? Jenny, how old are you? Two and a half. And can you tell them your name? Uh-huh. What is it? What's your name? Nick. Uh-huh. What's your name? My name is Sandy Griffiths. Right. Is there somebody you'd like to say hi to? Uh-huh. Would you like to say hi to Grandma Mary? Uh-huh. Say hi, Grandma Mary. Hi, Grandma Mary. Say hi, Grandma Bernice. Hi, Grandma Bernice. And you have to say hi to Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Oh, Nancy's out there. Say hi, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Now, what are we going to sing? The Christmas Hell for a bit. No, we're not going to sing that one right now. Shall we sing about a special star? Uh-huh. Shall we? Shall we uh -huh. sing Twinkle, Twinkle? Shall we sing it together? Uh-huh. Okay. Twinkle, 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 little star. How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky <laughs> Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Now you 
do it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Baba, so high. I got diamonds in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Very good. Isn't that tremendous? What a cute little girl. I would like to, I would like to sh sign a contract with her right now, <laughs> a lifetime contract. <laughs> Lovely Norma Samra and her handsome partner, Jimmy Roberts, are joined by all of our singers for the best known of all the popular Christmas songs, Irving Berlin's White Christmas. Bob and some musician in his family. Bob, may we meet your fine family? It'd be a pleasure to introduce them, Lawrence. Here we have my son, Randy, who's eight years old in the third grade, and my daughter, Diane, who's six years old in the first grade. And we'd like to do for you a little Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. We're going to let Diane start.
Callan Seamster run in the Ralston family. Here's another proud father, Ken Dilo, with one of his most devoted fans. This is my oldest daughter, Kimberly Ann. She's four years old. We have a brand new member in the family. Who's, what's your baby brother's name? Kimberly. No, your baby brother's name. Um, Kevin Patrick. Kevin Patrick, he's seven months old, yes. And if you want to say anything to the people watching you on television? Uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Even though you got a little bruise on your face there from her bicycle the other day, a little accidents. Here's a song that kind of fits the occasion called Little Lady Make Believe. Christmases were made for children like you. Happiness is yours, whatever you do. What a joyous day to look forward to. My little lady, make believe. You may want to know the presents you'll get. Sorry, you must wait. We can't tell you yet. Leave it up to Santa, he won't forget. My little lady, make believe. Neath the Christmas tree, the toys that you see will mean the world and all to you. But you could never love the things that you see half as much as we love you. On some Christmas morning, when childhood has flown, you'll relive again the things you have known, giving little toys to one of your own. A little lady may believe, my little lady may believe. Oh, she's so cute. And right now, Kimberly, we're going to do a song for you and for all the other children. And we hope and we know that the uh, parents will like this one, too. This, this is a song about a baby born almost 2,000 years ago and a baby whose birth changed the history of the entire world.
didn't know who you were. A beautiful spiritual. Thank you, Guy and Rolna. Sissy and Bobby got the idea for their dance from a pair of cute rag dolls sent to them by one of their fans. Let's all enjoy this rag doll dance. Diane Rolna sings Sweet Little Jesus Boy. There are so many great Christmas songs. Later, the whole cast gets together for a Christmas medley. And be sure to stay with us at the end of the program when I visit with our champagne lady, Norma Zimmer. Now, back to the holiday show. Our Christmas show continues, and Dick Dale has two pretty young ladies to help him get into the holiday spirit. Gail Farrell and Mary Lou Metzger. Have a holly jolly Christmas, it's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas, and when you walk down the street, say hello to friends you know, and everyone you meet. Oh, oh the mistletoe. Hung where you can see Somebody waits for you Kiss her once for me Have a holly jolly Christmas And in case you didn't hear Oh by golly have a holly jolly Christmas This year Have a holly jolly Christmas It's the best time of the year I don't know if there's gonna be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas, and when you walk down the street, say hello to friends you know, and everyone you meet. Oh, oh the mistletoe hung where you can see. Christmas, and in case you didn't hear, oh by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. 
I'd like to have you meet my number five daughter, Heidi, and my number two daughter, Christy, Mrs. Mrs. Bobby Burgess. And we're going to play a song about another popular visitor at Christmas time, the Candy Man. well represented on our stage this evening. But right now we call on Joe himself for a beautiful song that has become a tradition on our Christmas show. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's Rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, oh, hear the angel voices, oh, night divine. song but folks you haven't heard anything you haven't heard anything wait when you hear this young man Timmy Joe oh, I mean Timmy tell me how old are you seven seven years old and you're gonna sing a song for us right now huh yeah one of your favorites yes uh, how about is it tell the folks what the name of it and you're gonna tell the folks who's gonna play for you accompany you Kathy. Kathy who? Kathy Feeney. Uh-huh. Okay, come over here, Kathy. That's your little sister, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, okay. Okay, shall I hold you or do you want to say, I'll let you stand here. You're a little heavy to hold all through this song. Okay, and now a little introduction for him. All I want for Christmas is my two Sitting on a thistle Gosh, oh 
wish you Merry Christmas. Oh, you're wonderful. That was marvelous. <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> well, 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 we found another smiling Irishman. Uh, let's give him another round of applause. He was so good. That's for you. Make a little bow now. Let's just see. There we are. That's nice. You know, Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without the beautiful carols everyone knows and loves. I'm sure you folks at home will want to sing along with our carolers. Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn King Peace on earth and mercy mild God and sinners reconciled Joyful all ye nations rise Join the triumph of the skies With the angelic hosts proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn Musical children. Hello, Mr. Well. Very nice, very nice. Now, are you ready to sing our song we're going to do about Twinkle Twinkle? Okay, Myron, a little introduction. Okay, now here we are. A one and a two and a course and sing it loud now. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. A little louder. How I wonder what you A little are. louder now. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the stars. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Oh, very, very nice. Give a hand for the children, please. Thank you. Now, folks, uh, we worked up a little number with the spoons, but first let me ask you something. Do we have anyone here that would like to play the piano for our television audience? You would like to play the piano? Come over here. Tell the folks your name, please. Robert Snail. Uh-huh. And your daddy plays the piano with our orchestra, doesn't he? Now, we don't have the piano here, but we have a cellist here. You think you can play that one? Okay, yeah. go right over there.
A one. Now, hold on, wait a minute. I forgot I didn't stomp off the band, okay? Here we are once more. A one and a two and a... Clean. I go along with the kids and sing and play them. <laughs> a nice hand for the children. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and now, children, you, mo you may go back to your parents, and we're going to introduce all of the folks. You'll be introduced once again. Okay? Go right back there to your mama, and we'll see you in a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, in meeting the family, let's start with Myron Florin, the gentleman that's been with us for a long time. To my left, Myron Florin is a lovely family. Thank you, Lawrence. And I have part of my family here today. First of all, Christy on my left, along with her husband, Bobby Burgess, my number five daughter, Heidi, and my wife, Berdine. And Myron, I'd like to turn the mic over to Lisa Hooper, who has a very special guest to introduce today. Um, I'm Lisa Hooper, and this is my dad, Larry. And we wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. My name is Henry Cuesta, and this is the uh, Canadian family I've been talking about on my uh, past few shows, and I think I should let my wife, Jeanette, from Toronto, make the introductions. Jeanette. Thank you. This is Marion on my left, Lucinda, and Henry Jr., and it's wonderful to be in sunny California. And it's wonderful to have you with the Champagne Music Makers. Hi, my name is Brent Griffiths, and this is my wife, Sandy, and this is our little girl, Jenny. You say hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello, my name is Don Staples. It's my lovely wife, Betty, and my two girls down here, Cheryl, and here's Debbie. Turn around and look at the picture, Debbie. There you are. Hi, I'm Ken Delo. This is my wife, Marilyn. My little daughter, Kimberly, you met earlier in the show. And this is our newest one. This is Kevin Patrick trying to grab the mic. Thank you, Ken. I'm Barney Liddell. This is my wife, Arlene. Our daughter, Rachel. And our son, John, over here. Doctor. I'm Jim Mack. This is my wife, Donna, who is Lawrence's youngest daughter. My son, Jimmy. My daughter, Christine. And my son, David. I'm Shirley. This is my husband, Bob, and four of our children are with us this evening to wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, my daughter, Lisa, is, has just turned five. Uh, my son, Robert, is 13. David is another of our Christmas babies. He is just 12, and Jonathan is 10. And this is my dear mother. A very Merry Christmas from all of our family and the musical family. And I want you to meet our son now and his wife, Tanya. Hi, I'm Larry Welk. And uh, the one, one I'm holding here is Kevin Phillip. He just turned one year old. And down here we have Lawrence Welk III. Do you want to say something? Yeah. What do you want to say? Just say it. Just say it. Merry say Christmas. Hi. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I promised uh, my little girl over there that I would let her sing a song on the show. You want to come over here and tell the folks your name? Christine. Christine, uh huh. And what song did you say you wanted to sing for our television audience, Christine? Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells. You know the words to it? Mm -hmm. You do? Okay, sing it. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all day. All the fun is to ride in a open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all day. All the fun is to ride in a open sleigh. Hey. <laughs> 
that nice? Isn't that nice? No wonder. Listen to all the applause you got there. You like that applause, huh? Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? Did you bring the book along that I asked you to bring along? Mm -hmm. Let me see. I want you, I want you folks, uh, the granddad wants to brag a little bit about you. Here's a book that she was reading for me when I was out there for dinner. And it says, a book for boys and girls age 9 to 14. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me something. How, how old are you? What's that? One, two, three. And they tell me that you can read already. Is that right? Can you read this for me or can you spell it for me first? T. Okay. E. A. C. H. M. E. T. O. C. O. O. K. Isn't that nice? Now. <laughs> Here. And uh, can you also can you can, can you also read this to our audience? Teach me to cook. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> there we are. Little Christine, isn't she lovely? Now we stop with you, Danny. I believe. Would you take over again? Okay. My name is Danny Dale. I'm son of Dick Dale. This is my sister, Dee Dee. This is my brother David, and this is my mom. Thank you, Danny. This is my wife, Joanne. I'm Mickey McMahon, first of all. My wife, Joanne. This is Patrick, sitting down in the front, my youngest, and Brian, the biggest boy. John? Thank you, Mickey. Hello, I'm Johnny Zell. This is my wife, Barbara. My son, John. And my daughter, Pamela. Buddy? Thank you, John. Hi, I'm Buddy Merrill, and this is my wife, Ruth. And down front here, look at the camera, Melody. This is little Melody, and this is my other daughter, Cheryl. Clay? Thank you, bud. I'm Clay Hart, and this is my son, Hank, and my little girl, Lizzie, down there. Wave, Lizzie. That's it. <laughs> Joe Feeney. Thank you, Clay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to have you meet six of my ten children. Starting down... <laughs> Starting down below there is Timothy Paul, Sean Michaels next to him, and uh, up here is Mary Elizabeth. Right here is Edward Christopher. Next to me is my oldest daughter, Kathleen Marie. And uh, what's your name? I forgot. Oh, this is uh, Matthew Lawrence. Say hi. Huh? Can you say hi? Oh, all right. This is Dave Edwards. I'm Dave Edwards. This is my wife, Phyllis. <laughs> My sons, Charlie and David. I'm Mary Smale. I'm Bob Smale's wife, and I get to do the honors because he has laryngitis. Isn't that so? <laughs> um, this is my daughter down in front, Margaret, and my son, Robbie, and Bob. I'm Bob Davis, and this is my eight-year-old boy, Bobby Davis. Merry Christmas. Hi, I'm Bob Ralston. Uh, you already met uh, six-year-old Diane and eight-year-old Randy before playing Rudolph. And this is my lovely wife from Holland, Fietje. Wish you Merry Christmas, honey. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you very much, Bob. Um, aren't we lucky to have so many, many wonderful children and so many deductions? <laughs> As always, it's been a pleasure to share this holiday with you good people and the children. Our wish for all of you was so very well expressed 2,000 years ago. There is no way I can improve on it. Peace on earth and goodwill to men. Now from all of our musical family, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and good night. Thanks so much for joining us for our holiday show. Whenever I get to spend time with my special guest, it feels like Christmas. She's entertained and inspired us all. Please welcome Norma Zimmer and her handsome husband, Randy. Thank you, thank you, Mary Lou. It's, it's so a delight good to, to be have here. <laughs> Does this show bring back memories for you? Oh, goodness, yes. Uh, you know, the, the warmth and the love of, uh, of all the people that we've worked together. It was just fabulous, and watching the show just brought so many memories back. 
It was wonderful. Well, and you and Jim sang White Christmas. Right. And you sang the original recording of that with yes. Bing Crosby. Right. Uh huh. I've had such a wonderful career. I've been so blessed and lucky. Um, I, I can't tell you how wonderful it is to to work with all of you and to to be a part of the Lawrence Welk Show has been such a blessing. Oh, it's our gift, believe mm -hmm. me. Yeah. You two are such a handsome couple, and I Thank understand you. you just celebrated an anniversary. 63 years. years. Isn't that great? <laughs> 63 Three years. years. Uh -huh. It's just unbelievable. Well, Randy, was it love at first sight? <laughs> well, it was. Uh, <clears throat> Norma was getting off of this bus, mm -hmm. and we were just getting on up. This is a bunch of the kids that I raced with and stuff. and. Uh, one of the people that I've known for years and years and years was Howie Miller, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, mm -hmm. Howie Miller, and we all met. And then uh, the bus started up, and we took off. And <laughs> the Norma had a friend in Seattle that loaned him their home for the weekend. So she said goodbye, and then the next morning uh, we belonged to this, the Sally Ski Club, mm -hmm. and we came downstairs, and here Norma was there, and <laughs> we talked a while. And, uh, but that was the first time I think Norma ever skied. Right, you know? and Randy was a Northwest champion, and he took me under his wing and taught me to ski slowly taught me to walk on the skis and sidestep up and sidestep down and oh it, it was such a wonderful wonderful Norma weekend. Norma was a good good skier. <laughs> <laughs> good team. Well he taught me very carefully. So I was it love at first sight for you? It was. You know <laughs> I, we stepped up my girlfriend Betty V. Wig and I went up on the bus I stepped off the bus and here was Randy standing there with all of his friends and he gave this wonderful smile and I thought, what a darling fellow he is. <laughs> and uh, we just, um, we hit it off right away. That's so great. And you've had such a hands-on partnership through the years. Yes. You built your first home together? That's right. Um, Randy has worked like a slave. Uh, he has just put in hours of building. Uh, I would hold lights at night for him, and um, uh, he he had a plan always, a plan to hit, and um, it it was fabulous. We built our first ski area and built all the towers and everything, everything, in it. and that was about 25 miles away from. Mm -hmm. Uh, where our home was. Uh huh. Yeah, it was. Uh, Kratka was a family resort. It was a daytime resort. Uh, we had a, a rope tow at first, of course, and then the chairlift. And the fellows built that chairlift that was a single tower. What do you call it? A uh, tubular, tubular tower. Tubular tower. We we're mm. the first ones in California that built a mm -hmm. tubular tower. That's a big undertaking. Oh, yes. My goodness. And we built it in one summer, and mm -hmm. we we're using it the next winter. Yeah. You mentioned that you only signed one contract in your life. You know, uh, when, when I first started singing, it was with the girls' trio. And uh, we, uh, we signed for 33 weeks for $250 a week. And I thought, well, that, that's a good, good contract. Money. And uh, at the end of the 33 weeks, the fellow who hired us had, oh, in the contract it read, unlimited expense account. So there was uh, no money left, and uh, we had worked for $50 a week. Oh. <laughs> so it was, I thought, I'm not going to sign contracts anymore. <laughs> So I didn't, uh, I've never signed another contract. And with Lawrence, a well, handshake no, was his a word. a handshake was his word. And it's been fun. You had a wonderful history with Meredith Wilson, who was oh, a great friend of our show. He, oh, he was so darling. We, we would go to his home to rehearse, and um, 
he had a, a new song that he had written called Till There Was You. And he said, Norma, sing this for me, you know, try it out. And I, so I think I was one of the first to sing Till There Was You. And Music Man became history, right? Made musical history. Right. Uh -huh. Now you also have two wonderful sons. Oh, I, I've been so blessed with our boys, Ron, Ron and Mark. And Mark. And Mark is here. Oh, right. it just happens right. to me. Right. It's Good a Christmas show. It wouldn't be Christmas That's without family. Right. right. <laughs> And it's so good to see you, Mary Lou. Yes. And Thank always, you. it was always a pleasure to be on the Lawrence Welk Show during the Christmas show. Mm -hmm. And you even performed on it at one point. Yes, right. with my brother Ron, we both sang uh, towards the night before Christmas. <laughs> that was such a fun show. Oh, it was wonderful. In fact, all the shows have been wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I have a question for you. What was it like having a champagne lady for your mom? <laughs> <laughs> well, we were very fortunate uh, being uh, that the Welk Show, there were so many stars. Mm -hmm. the, um, it, you know, that fame is spread around, so we were able to live a very normal life. Mm -hmm. And also because the Welk Show is a family show, uh, we were able to be family. Mm -hmm. But there was uh, one instructor, my fifth grade instructor, who was such a fan that she insisted that mom come and sing to the class. <laughs> And, that was uh, an embarrassment for yeah. you. <laughs> well, things never were quite the same after that. <laughs> but uh, it, it's, it's just been such a pleasure, and through the years, and with the wonderful Christmas music of this mm -hmm. show, uh, it's just such a pleasure throughout the year to hear the, uh, the sacred music and the, the wonderful music of the mm -hmm. Welk Show. It's a blessing. Well, you've been involved in a project that's very dear to your heart, but with your mom's recordings. Mm -hmm. Yes, through the years, I've, we've didn't have the original uh, tapes in many cases, so we've taken the, the uh, vinyl records and uh, transcribed them onto, uh, into the computer, and then using software, clean up all the ticks and pops and make them just like a, a CD would be made today. Mm -hmm. yes, that's wonderful. But now you're an engineer, so... Uh, yes, a co computer support engineer, and been doing that for many years now. It's been a blessing being uh, involved in the entire personal computer industry mm -hmm. and, uh, and still supporting that today. You must be so proud of your parents. Very much so. Well, we're so proud of him. <laughs> <laughs> and you also have grandchildren. Oh, yes, we have uh, three grandchildren and one great-grandchild. Oh. We have that little Erin Renee, who is a year and three months old just now. She's adorable. I have a picture of her uh, that I'll <laughs> share with you. But she was, uh, it, it's just been fabulous to have these fabulous sons and, and the, uh, now the great grandbaby. It's been fabulous. After 63 years together, what do you think is the secret of a successful marriage? Because you've had lows in with the highs. Mm -hmm. Well, just never argue. <laughs> <laughs> we never had enough time to That's argue. Right. So. <laughs> we were so busy in, with our lives, and uh, Randy has, is not argumentative, thank the Lord. <laughs> and the boys have always gotten along, and uh, so it's been just fabulous. Well, we feel so blessed to have all of you as part thank of our you. family. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Mary Lou. And thank, thank you. you so much. We look forward to the next time. And until then, as Lawrence always said, keep a song in your heart.
That's... What about a hand at cards? Do you play, Lord Grant? Let's go find some games. Here they come. We're going fishing tomorrow. Quite right. I shall see you on. Yes? Well played, Barrow. been in the saddle for ages. I'll be stiff as a board the next day. Mine, I believe. Gentlemen, have we had enough? Surely not. I think I've got the trick of it now. I've forgotten what a good game this is. How long does it go on for? Oh, ages. Oh, goody, goody. Slush. It's in the arms. 